news. This is Thursday, October 17, 2024. I'm Sebastian. And I'm Maria. Here are your announcements. Picture day is on Tuesday, October 22nd in the library. Order forms will be given to you in your English classes. Everyone must take a photo for the records and for representation in our yearbook, so be ready to put on your best smile on Tuesday, October 22nd. Do you have any awesome photos from homecoming this past weekend? If so, we'd love to use them in our 2025 yearbook. Please send any photos to yearbookwgh at gmail.com with the names of the students featured, and we'll quite likely use it in the book. Once again, that's yearbookwgh at gmail.com. The yearbook goes first in the, e- in the email address. That's yearbookwgh at gmail.com. Now for those interested in bowling for our Raiders, open gym for both boys and girls teams will run every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 3 p.m. At Freeway Lanes on Parkman Road, it will cost $2 a game. Please have the money with you when you come down to the bowling alley. Plan on bowling a minimum of two games. Open gym is not required, but is highly recommended. Hope to see everyone interested in trying out at the bowling lanes. Are you interested in volunteering for your community, developing leadership skills, and meeting new people along the way? If so, Interact Club might be the place for you. Come join us on our first informational meeting on Thursday, October 17th at 2.30 p.m. in Mr. Martin's room, 1212. Also a reminder, Interact Club members, please check the Interact Teams page for updates and announcements prior to Thursday's meeting. Additionally, anyone interested in joining Interact, please message Mr. Martin to be added to the club page on Teams. Attention members of the Bible Club, the meeting on the 18th is canceled. Once again, Bible Club members, there will be no meeting on the 18th. All this week, the Drama Club will be selling cute little gift bags, including some candy, stickers, and chocolate-covered pretzels and other little goodies during lunches through today. October 17th, the gift bags will be delivered to first period classes tomorrow on the 18th. Bags are $2, so get a sweetie for your sweetie or some booze for your boo. Warren City Schools is hosting an, its annual Stuff a Cruiser in conjunction with Warren Police Department in Orin this Saturday, October 19th at the Warren Police Department from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Please come support all of our Warren City pantries by dropping off various items that the students in our city need. Finally, the next Poetry Club meeting is on October 22nd from 2.45 to 3.45 in room 2243. We will be electing officers and planning our fall poetry event for November 26th. If you missed the last meeting, you are welcome to attend this one. QR codes are located in the lunch room or see Mr. Sutton in room 2243. That's all we have for you, Raiders. It's Rose, and I'm back again with some more information on the Warren G. Harding Quiz Bowl team. We just recently had our first meeting, but in case you missed it, we will be continuing to meet every Tuesday and Thursday right after school in room 3215, which is Ms. Hunter's room. Questions or concerns? Hit up Ms. Hunter on Teams. Don't forget to bring your brain. What's good, Raiders? I'm Z Bands. And I'm G, and today we have for you guys a very special announcement. Two-sentence spooky story challenge. Have you dreamed of being a published writer? Here's your chance to get your story published on the WC. CS Warren G. Harden website in the yearbook and on WSEN. Yes, there is a catch. Your story is limited to two sentences. Here are the rules. Choose a genre. One of the following genres could be horror, paranormal, mystery, or science fiction. Write your two-sentence story. Use specific vocabulary. Consider your audience. Nothing too graphic. And check your punctuation. Submit, submit your story online. There will be a link on your guidance team, or you can fill out a paper version found in the cafeteria and turn it into the library. Watch for submit submissions posted in the library and in the cafeteria. Yes, there are prizes involved. All entries are due by the end of the day on October 31st. And that's all we have for you guys for a very special announcement. Peace. Hi, Warren G. I'm Nicoletta. I'm JC. And I'm Nita. And we're here with your birthdays. Happy birthday to Curtis C. Cheney. Christian Peoples, Julius Bell, Azaria Hightower, Taraya, sorry if I butchered that, Douglas, Matthew Height, Anaya Nolan, and Deron Moss. Happy birthday, y'all. Have a good day. Hey, Raiders. I'm Andrew. And I'm Raina, and we're here with your sports for today. For our local sports, our freshman football team plays away at 6 o'clock at Maslin. And a congratulations to our boys soccer team for winning 3-1 to one against Maslin, Washington. On, an, on the NFL level, the Broncos take on the Saints for Thursday night football. Also, the Guardians take on the Yankees for Game 3 of the ALCS at 5.08 p.m. That's all for sports for today. Have a great day. Food. 
Hey readers, I'm Giselle. And I'm Harmony. And we're here with your music review. The song I picked is a song by Inhaler. It's called Dublin and Ecstasy. I chose it because I really like this band. Um, they're like indie rock pop, but they're kind of boy band coded like One Direction. So I really like their music. And <laughs> my music review is all Christmas music. All of the Christmas songs, the 12 day of Christmas. Fall la la loss. Uh, oh yeah. And like Mariah Carey say, it's time. <laughs> it's time to start putting on your Christmas music, getting your Santa hats, and get your Christmas pajamas ready because Santa is coming. No. <laughs> the elves are coming. Uh, it's time. So have a good day, Raiders. We will guys for all of our my Hello Raiders, I'm James. And I'm Elijah, and we're going to be talking about video game releases. On October 8th, 2024, the new Silent Hill 2 came out, which was the most anticipated video game this year. It is a remake of the original Silent Hill 2 released in September 25th, 2001. It is considered one of the greatest games of all time. The remake looks stunning, has an amazing story, and already has great reviews. And that's all for you Raiders, have a great day. What's up, Raiders? I'm Courtney. And I'm Jace. We're here with the word of the day. The word of the day is exorbitant. This means very large or exceeding the bounds of reason. An example in a sentence is the price of the bag was exorbitant. That's all for your word of the day. Bye, Raiders. What's good, Raiders? I'm Z Bands. And I'm G. And we're giving you our top five fast food spots. R-A-Z with Shores. All right, my top five is number five is Burger King. My number four is Taco Bell. Number three, Canes. Number two, McDonald's. And number one, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, so bust. All right, mine, number five, starting off with Arby's. Number four is Little Caesars. Number three is Wingstop. And number two is Pizza Works. Only the OGs know Pizza Works. And number one is Chick-fil-A. So bust. Come on out. And that's all of our top five fast food restaurants for y'all today. All right, peace, Raiders. But it was Vrabel's house that made the most of the Titans' 10 minutes on the clock. I mean, it's been a little crazy. His son Carter donned one of Dad's old Pro Bowl jerseys, while his friend Jackson dressed as Frozone from The Incredibles. Antonio Brown. That's Antonio Brown without his uniform, we are told, without his jersey. Quarterback Alabama, Mac Jones, the Nick Saban, Bill Belichick connection. Look how quickly he is moving his way down that tunnel. Look Okay.